Hey, Heather from Hooked on Picking here. I am in the Via Trading Warehouse in Southern LA, and they're gonna let me totally rip into this palette and see what's in here. I have no idea what's in here. It's mostly brown boxes. I know there's carpet. That's about it. So we're gonna uh, open it up and open up all the boxes and see what we got in here. Okay, so I love these palettes because they're basically bigger than me, um, but this palette would be typically found in a 26 palette truckload that you would buy. And occasionally they do take these kinds of palettes and then process them and then put them, sell them as individual palettes. So if you just want one or two, it's possibly that, possible that you can get them. Uh, in a truckload, they average out to be about $500 a piece if you buy all 26 of them. And so, you know, some might be worth a little bit more, a little bit less, but I think overall the load you probably make a profit on. Um, but if they sell them individually they start at two hundred dollars and go up but when they process them they actually get to see with them and so they kind of adjust the numbers that way so um hopefully you can make a profit if you buy them one at a time so we're just going to rip into this palette and figure out what's in these unique brown boxes so i'm hoping they're not all the same thing since they're all kind of the same size i'm hoping that they're full of things that are uh you know, smalls, as I say, which anything kind of smaller than a suitcase, I consider a small. Uh, so we're going to just start pulling them down. This is a 70 quart storage box. So obviously, I have no idea what's in this. So let's just get right in here and see. I don't want to cut too deep. It looks like fabric. Maybe not. Ooh. Okay, I see some seasonal items. So it's currently April. <laughs> but I see um, snow stuff. So this is probably winter items, a snow caddy, snow candy. Um, basically it's an instant fun snow bunker. Um, I'll have to get my phone and scan some of these things. Uh, let's see, there it is. Thank you phone from appearing from nowhere. Thank you to my hubby who handed it to me. Okay, and then we've got some snow tubes. Here's one there with a Frosty the Snowman in it. Um, and people think it's weird to sell these kinds of things, but um, you can't find them in the stores right now. And so you can sell them off season really well. This is a snow fling it. So you put the snowball in there and then you fling it and give your brother or sister a concussion. <laughs> so um, you can fling almost anything in this. You put dirt in this and fling it and <laughs> rocks in this and fling it. And no, don't put dirt and rocks. That's just mean sand at the beach oh snow striker i got a bunch of these so check my hooked on picking website i have them priced to the bottom of the barrel so there's a bunch of those in there we're currently in a working warehouse so if you hear noise that's what it is so this is a thermos it's a really nice lunch box brand new oh you know what? i'm gonna scan that one because it's actually thermos brand so it, the likelihood of it actually being on the amazon um, website is pretty high yes let's see it's thinking, thinking. We're inside of a middle building. There it goes. Thermos lunch cooler. Holy buckets. 3788, 258,000. So after fees, Amazon is selling it. So I would probably price mine about $2 less. So instead of $32, I would probably price it around $29.99. So go to Amazon. Oh, Amazon fulfilled. So instead of 37, I'd probably price mine for about 34. Uh, $26, so take a couple bucks up, 24 bucks. I'd make 24 bucks on, a, on an insignificant cooler, a plain Jane insignificant cooler. So that's awesome. Um, and then of course we got all the snow stuff. So we've got a snow ultimate deluxe art set, a bunch of those, um, some snow paint, another snow striker. Um, a connect for some sort of toy. Here's some more snow markers. Here's a snow buddy. I guess you build the snowman using that. A, a random kid's helmet. These sell for really good, usually around uh, 15 to $20 and more snow markers. So I'm gonna kind of put this stuff back in here so that I can kind of get it out of the way. But everything in there, as you can see, is brand new condition. And definitely worth it. I'll have to rebox it a little better later. It had but, a salvage sticker on it. Oh, it did have a salvage sticker down here. Um, clearly it didn't look salvaged to me. So let's see what else is in here. Here's the rug. Um, it's got a barcode. I'm gonna go ahead and just scan it. I'd probably sell this one on Facebook Marketplace. 
simply because of the size and I would hate to ship it. I mean, they do have long shipping tubes that I could use. It doesn't come up under a listing. Um, it's called, it's a Project 62, which is a specific store brand. And so I would probably sell this on Facebook Marketplace or garage sale. It's brand new in the packaging. I could probably sell it for about 20 bucks at a garage sale since it's never been used. All right, let's pull this one out. This one I peeked through the handle and saw what I think is frozen, like Disney frozen um, toys. So I'm hoping that's what's in it because those sell really great, even though it's been years after the movie. Um, that's such an addictive movie. Okay, so I see more snow stuff, which would explain why Frozen is in there because it's kind of snow themed, I guess. All right, so more snow striker. Okay, so I must have just been seeing the snowflakes from this. So we've got those. These are snow emoji makers. So you basically make an emoji snowball. More snow strikers, snow strikers. This is a, oh, play dog, fetch, roll over. It's a, it's a set of pet dice. That's really cute. Heads or tails? Heads or tails? I'm gonna scan that. It might just be some generic, um, a lot of times stuff like this comes out around Christmas time and so the UPC doesn't pop up. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, but I can definitely sell this on eBay all day long. So I think that's all that's in here. Yeah, snow strikers snow markers and snow emoji ball makers and just in case you wanted to know yes yes you can make a poop emoji or chocolate ice cream depending on what mood you're in all right so there's some more seasonal snow stuff um which still will sell even in the off season it might not you might not get as much as you'd like out of it just because it is seasonal you might hang on to it a little bit longer like i said oh my goodness I am not gonna move that box right now because it's very heavy. So we're gonna move this one. All right, so we're gonna pull this one off so that we can look at that other one later. Okay, so let's see if we can get into this one. Ooh, clothes, tons of clothes. Is this whole thing full of clothes? That would be awesome. Oh, yes. This is a score. All right, let's see what kind of condition it's in. Oh, I see tags. Good fellow shirts. I'm gonna, let me find a clean spot. Okay. All right, I'm gonna lay them here just so that I don't get them all dirty. So I've got one shirt. Two, all these have tags on them. Three, four. Okay, you saw that shirt, here's this one. With little, it's got little blue roses all over it. So five, here's a jacket. It says original price was $34, right here. So six items. Here's another jacket. Really sharp army green. Seven, same kind of jacket. Eight, another jacket. Original price, 40 bucks. Eight, nine, couple of belts. So I'm gonna include those 10 and 11. Here's another shirt, 12. Uh, Wrangler jeans, 12. We've got 13, 14. These are all men's sizes. 15, 16, 17. Now we're back to shirts again. There's a red shirt. 17, this will be 18. My pile's gonna get too tall for me here in a minute. There's another one. This is a, well, it's immense, 18. 19. Twenty. Okay, there's more, there's more of that kind. Here's 21.
That one. I don't see any stains. They're all brand new. 22. 23. Goodfellow red plaid. 24. Here's another one with those little roses on it like I showed before. That's 25. That's 25. It looks like to me you're looking at about 75. Oh, there's boxes in the on. bottom of this. Is there boxes? Yeah, there? there's boxes okay. down here. So let's keep going. I know we're, we're being a little bit kind of boring, but I did see boxes. So 25, let's just go fast. 26. Let me see. 27, 28. Ooh, that's a nice one. 28, sorry. 29. I'm going to keep going. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I see some pillows down here. 35. All right. That's it for the clothes. 35 articles of clothes. Then we've got a bath mat, a pillow, another pillow. Another pillow. What is this? Balloon bot battle. So you make balloons and put these on there and then you it's like rock'em sock'em robots. Check that out. I'm gonna um I am going to scan that because I am curious. Okay, it's actually on there. It's restricted, but I could probably get unrestricted. Um, $18.99, uh, so if we did Amazon Fulfilled, 10 bucks for that one. So I would definitely uh, look at it and make sure it's in good condition and brand new. Uh, so let's see what else is in here. We've got a little waste paper basket with a gold trim on the bottom, another cute pillow, baseball, bead pets, um, we got two more pillows in the bottom. We've got a curtain. We've got a duvet set. And then... <laughs> a You've Got Crabs game. <laughs> oh, it's an expansion pack to a game called You've Got Crabs. That's interesting. Awesome. Oh, amazing. You never know what you're going to find in these crazy bins. All right, so awesome. So I'm just going to do this and try to sweep all the clothes right back in there. It's not going to pack in as well as it was for sure. But let's see. Avalanche. Don't fall on the floor. I want them to stay new. Okay. Ugh. All right. So wow. Okay, well, I can definitely see why that was heavy. We're going to drag this over here. All right, what else we got left? Okay. This one says unicorn, white, one per box. We'll see, are there unicorns in here? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be mean and I'm gonna make you wait to the end. Are there unicorns in this box, okay? We're gonna wait till the end and see if there's unicorns in this box. What did I do with my box cutter? Oh, I put it in my pocket like a smart person. All right, so let's open this one. It's a generic box. It also has a salvage sticker. Clearly none of that in that box was salvaged. Okay, this has a duvet set. Um, and I've learned to always check and make sure everything is there. So there's that. Then we've got one of the snow flingers and some more snow items. Here's a random, this is definitely a holiday thing, but it's hair ties, so you can still sell this nowadays. Um, a helmet which I'm just gonna do this real fast and scan this bicycle helmet because this is the second one that I've pulled out that's basically the same brand. All right, this helmet has got a sales rank of 255,000 um, and it is selling currently right now for $24.95. And it, if I Amazon fulfill it, I make 18 bucks and I, I know that I've pulled some of those out of via trading pallets before. So I think the rest of this is snow stuff down in here um, that we kind of similar to what we saw in that first box. So we're gonna move on to the next one because I'm more interested. 
Tell me if you think unicorns are in that box. If you don't think it's unicorns and you think it's something else, tell me what you think, just based off of what you've already seen. What else do you think it could be in that giant box? Could it be a bunch of little things? Could it be a bunch of big things? Even if that's all you want to guess is a bunch of little stuff or a bunch of big stuff, let me know. So it's a decent weight on a box, but not incredibly heavy. All right, here's another. All righty. Let's do metallic mania egg painting kit. So now we're into Easter and springtime stuff. So this is perfect time for it because we it's April right now. So this would be perfect stuff to sell right now. Flea market, I got some boys underwear still with uh, attached tags. I think it's missing the original, but these are brand new and they're all still attached. So it's set as a three pack. So I could look at the branding and see if I could find them online. Then poly bag them um, a little. This is just a little gift box, empty gift box. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Uh, looks like a little pouch, keychain pouch, planning pad, little happy Easter stuff. There's a couple of those with little stands that go with them for standing them up. Sippy cup, a basket, um, like a, this is a bunny kit with a face and a tail. Uh, we got a USB charging cable because that goes with Easter. We've got Top Gun because that's exactly what you think should go with Easter. Um, some underwear, some makeup, lip smacker. Uh, oh, this is awesome because this helps me to find this because then, it, then I'll be able to scan this barcode and know exactly what it is and it may be, even be on the Amazon Marketplace. And then sunny days ahead, perfect for uh, springtime. So that's all springtime stuff. I'm terrible about putting stuff back in the boxes, but oh well. All right, here's another comforter set. So you definitely want to go through this as a five piece set. So you're going to make, you want to make sure that all five pieces are part of the set. So I've been burned a couple of times because it's been packaged gorgeously nice. And I think everything is there and then I sell it to a customer and then I feel horrible when it's got less than what they had anticipated in the box, in the thing. All right, let's see what's in this one. We're just gonna keep it eye level height and open it this way. Okay, lots of miscellaneous. So we've got paper straws, um, blinged out tweezers. So this is clearly out of its package. What is this? This is a Disney princess kind of hairstyle set. Um, we've got some clothes in here. Oh, poor bunny. <laughs> he can't hear anymore. Just out of that one ear. Just out of the one ear. He got two ears. He can hear like you now, just out of yeah, one ear, right? One ear. Hey, just start yelling in the other ear. Hey. All right. So let's see what else is in here. Plates, like <laughs> salad plates that are very breakable. Awesome. I'm going to set this very carefully down here. Um, a blanket. Uh, we've got a mirror in here. Boy, this is definitely a breakable box. We've got some decorative eggs that you just kind of set out. Um, what is this? This looks like a pet harness. A water bottle. Um, it's not missing anything. I thought it had a straw in it, but it isn't. You got some tights or underwear. Um, a packaging of something missing. I think that's this right here. It's a Warm Essentials uh, hoodie. And then we've got another um, pair of like a little sweatshirt thing. So that's pretty much it in that container. Yeah, another pair of underwear in there. So that's it for that container. So I'm gonna very, very gingerly set this down. Poor little bunny with no ear. Okay, so what else do you think could be in these other boxes? What do you think? Keep thinking about the one that says unicorns on it. And hey, look, this one, this end up, they actually put it on this palette correctly. It has a sign that says this end up. This looks like a reused box for sure, because it's got extra tape on it. 
not the original tape. Okay, most of these are not originally used box. Okay, so we've got curtain panels. I've been able to find these online pretty well by using the title. So I can't usually find them um, by the barcode. This particular, well, this brand I might be able to because this is a different brand. I think this is a shower curtain, blackout panel, curtain, more curtains. I think this is a whole box of curtains. Everything in here is a curtain. Different styles of curtains. Some are in the package, some are not. But I bet I could find all of them just by looking at the pictures. What's this? This is something different. Miracle. Okay, these are um, battery operated candles. Mirage. 350 hours of runtime. I'm going to see if I can scan one of these because I got the barcode available here and just give you an idea of what I can. Now I'm doing all these scanning on Amazon. You may be able to find a lot of this stuff on eBay still, but Amazon is my go-to as far as um, selling. And so I usually try to find it on Amazon first and then uh, sell it elsewhere if I cannot. All right, this one, let's see if it, yep, it comes up. So if you want to look at it, it is Mirage Wax Pillar Candle. That's just the one single candle. Um, and then it's 500,000 sales rank in home. It's selling for $19.99. Amazon is not selling it. And then it looks like if we sold it, Amazon fulfilled, we'd make $13.71. So that's a good deal. Looks like that's the only other random thing in here. Uh, maybe. I spoke too soon. Paper plates. Uh, and then we've got random, I think these are pop sockets. And then a Jojo Siwa piece of choke. Choke? Choke. Chalk. I said Jojo and I think I was stuck in the O. So Jojo Siwa piece of chalk. It's broken. But anyway, she wears the big hair bows. She's a Disney, used to be on Disney, I think. Um, anyway, she's super popular as far as her hair accessories and bows. All right, so we're going to move all of that over here and so that we can get to the next box. Ooh. Sorry, it's heavy. Okay, this box I'm going to do last because it's really heavy, so let's cut into this one. I think I'm seeing more uh, snow stuff, seasonal stuff, and um, like I said, it still sells really well off-season, or a lot of people like to save it and sell it right at the Christmas time or snow time. Um, and so that might be an option for you. So let's see if we can get some of these things out of here. So they're all the snow striker things. I guess these were not popular because I even have some already at home. Oops, just broke something. All right, let's see. I wanna see if these are worth something because there's a lot of them in this box. And so I'm gonna try to scan it. I have a feeling it's gonna be um, not on the, nope, it's not. Heads or tails, some sort of a game. Connect, f connect fur game is what it says. Connect fur, heads or tails. Uh, let's see what, if there's anything else. Nope. Ooh, what are these? These are different. Ha <laughs> These you strap to your shoes and you can make bear prints in the snow. So it looks like there's an actual set of them in here. So you can act like a bear's walking in. You totally trick your siblings. Go get your little brother or sister, be like, there's bears in them there hills. All right, so now we're gonna open this last one on the palette and don't forget to be commenting on your guess on what's in the palette. So, all righty, let's see. I see pillows, I think. Oops, sorry, my alarm is going off for something else. Dismiss. All right, so we have got more curtains and pillows. This is all curtains and pillows, it looks like. Oh, these are soap dishes. Soap dishes, it's shocking that they're in one piece. White ones, black ones. They even have the matching dispensers. To go with it that terrifies me that this is even in here but i guess the, it's they surrounded it with pillows and curtains so they're smart looks like they got some bedding sets yep bedding set there oh uh, what else is in here more soap dispensers what is this 
This is something broken. I don't know if I can get it out. So, yeah, so basically it's just a bunch of soap dispensers and bedding. So let's get to the mystery box. It says unicorn. Let's see if we can find where it says unicorn, just so you can see I'm not lying. Right here, unicorn white. So if you want to zoom in on that, I wasn't lying. It literally says unicorn on it. Will it be unicorn something? Will it be unicorn something? Oh, no, sad face, wah, wah, wah. Okay, so it's a lot of clothes, which is awesome for my Poshmark store. This, oh, look at these little baskets. They match, uh, I opened another palette that had um, binders that match that exactly. So it'd be a cool school kit. And then there's a, a trash can in here. I don't want to pull that whole thing out. It'll be terrible to get back in. What is this thing? Ready to robot. It's um, build, swap, and battle. It's got a bunch of little pieces in it. That's cool. I'm going to scan that right now and see if it's worth anything. Because I want you guys to see it on live. There are also baseball pants in here. Perfect time of the year to do baseball pants. Yes, ready to robot, right? Here. Ooh, that's a great sales rank. So it's got a sales rank of, it's restricted, but um, I could get unrestricted or I could just use the info to make a listing on eBay. So I have all the details because it's brand new. So I could potentially sell it on eBay and just use the details to help me make an eBay listing faster. 19,000 in toys. If I could sell it on Amazon, it would be worth after fees $21.25 just for that one item. So that's a good deal. Franklin baseball softball pants. These sell great on Poshmark as well as um, Amazon. Let's see what else we got. Green hair for St. Patty's Day, probably. Um, oh, this is terrifying. <sighs> Colgate. <laughs> I'm shocked. But look, they did a good job sticking some tape on there um some more clothing articles this has erasable pens in it this is a, like a hodgepodge it looks like towels and pens in there um let me see we've got a flat iron not been used because you can usually tell it's just not in the original box um feminine products hey people need them all right oh look at this it's so cute. I thought it was going to be a unicorn, but it's not. It's really cute, though. Look, it's got a zipper in it. You can hide stuff in its mouth. Oh, here's another robot thing. So there's another $20 bill right there. Uh, and then we've got um, undergarments, some socks, and that is it. And then the big, tall silver trash can looks like it still is in great working condition. So that is what is in there. I'm sad. I had my hopes up. I thought we were going to find a unicorn, but instead we found this guy and he's so cute. All right. Hopefully it's been helpful to kind of see what is in one of the pallets you could possibly buy. Like I said, normally in a 26 foot, uh, foot uh, 26 pallet truckload, but um, you know, you can buy these individually if they get sorted and they're individual ones and you buy one, two, three. And as the shipping, as you buy more pallets, shipping actually does go down. So we found out shipping it to our house, um, it's cheaper. It, it can be less than $200 to buy pallets if I buy like three or four or five of them. So um, that might be something you might be interested in, but I really love the condition um, like me. You know, you can sell off season stuff this time of year. So hopefully it's been helpful to see what's in a um, via trading palette and if you can make money off it. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. This is Heather from HookedOnPickin.com. If you'd like to purchase my reseller guide, which is fully laminated three cards with checklists for Goodwill, eBay, and Amazon, please click the link below and you can purchase it now. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips to show you how to walk through the store and what things I look for when walking through a thrift store to buy and resell items on Amazon, eBay, and other platforms. The Amazon reseller checklist has over six major steps and a lot of sub steps to look at in order to find out is my item going to be perfect for selling and reselling on Amazon. The eBay card also has six major steps to walk through to make sure you're choosing the right item that will be perfect for reselling and making money on eBay. 
Each card is fully laminated so that it cannot be destroyed easily, and it's perfect for taking with you while you're going on your picking and finding treasure hunting for reselling. I hope this is helpful, and I hope these cards help you to focus your energy to pick the right items to resell online to grow your reseller business. If you love the content that I give, you can support me on Patreon. Just follow the link in the description below and I will offer you lots of exclusive things. You can be in the Hooked on Pickin' Coffee Club, have your name in lights, be in the Hooked on Pickin' Reseller Club, or the Reseller Pro Club. You get different perks for each club. So if you'd like to support me in my channel, please head on over to my Patreon account and start supporting. Thanks! You guys are a true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.